it's a great honor and pleasure for me to have the opportunity to meet with you and also to uh, talk a little bit about your medical career and your connections with Jagiellonian University in Krakow. It's my pleasure to do so. Perfect. So, starting uh, first question, how your medical career begin? I mean, and also, why did you choose neurology? Well, my older brother was a neurologist. He was 10 years older than me. And I already knew in sixth grade that I wanted to be a doctor. And uh, when I went to medical school, although I was interested in other fields such as internal medicine, it was really neurology that interested me. And when I graduated from medical school, I did a residency in internal medicine because back then, everyone who went into neurology did internal medicine first. And then I rotated on our neurology service as a medical intern and I worked with the best people. Uh, Bob Joint, who was the chairman of the department, Birch Griggs, and these are all greats in neurology. And they asked me to join the residency program in neurology, and I did. And I think the reason I really like neurology is because it's a field where you can make a diagnosis without electricity. It's all about listening to the patient, taking a history, doing an examination, and only then you order tests judiciously. So it's really about connecting with the patient. Neurology also has uh, interactions with internal medicine subspecialties and with psychiatry, and this is something that I really enjoy. It's basically having complex patients and trying to figure out what's going on with them and helping them. What uh, fields of neurology are you, are you especially interested in? Well, I did a fellowship in neuromuscular diseases, which I really enjoyed, and I still see patients with neuropathies and weakness and numbness, but I do general neurology right now. And then also I became very interested in medical education, and my career right now includes uh, primarily uh, neurologic education. I run the residency program in neurology at the University of Rochester, the neurology clerkship, as well as the mind-brain behavior course, which is the neural science course for our uh, second year medical students. So my main work is in neurologic education and also general neurology. I know that you are great keen on teaching neurology and the residency program for, for residents and also for medical students uh, which you run in Rochester, University of Rochester, is one of the best in the United States. Can you tell us what is so special about this program and uh, why it's so successful? Well, it's all about the people. Uh, when people ask me why is our neurology residency program so good, it's about my residents and my faculty members. We have about 80 faculty members in our department and every subspecialty is represented. And I have six residents per year. It's a four year program. And we also have a child neurology residency program. But the whole department is focused on teaching. It's focused on ensuring that our residents learn, that our students learn. And I think one of the reasons for this is as physicians, the number one thing that we do is teach our patients how to manage the chronic diseases. Most acute diseases have been cured uh, in, with antibiotics, other treatments that we have. And now, most of medicine is teaching patients how to manage the chronic disease. So you need to be a good teacher to be a good doctor. In fact, the word doctor is Latin for teacher. And so our whole department has this emphasis on teaching uh, not only our patients, but also our students and our residents. So concerning teaching, this was something that uh, really um, you started your connection with Jagiellonian University. It's, it's nearly 22 years when you are just coming here. So can you tell us about these, how these connections with the University of Jagiellonian University in Krakow established? Well, I'm Polish-American and my grandparents emigrated from Poland 100 years ago. And I grew up in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, in a Polish community, speaking Polish, Polish church, uh, singing in the choir, uh, Polish folk dance group. So I always grew up with Polish customs. And uh, when I came to Rochester, I was very interested in maintaining ties with the Polish community. Now, Rochester, New York, and Krakow are sister cities. And because of the sister city connection, uh, we started an exchange program, first in pediatrics. Uh, Dr. Andrzej Mazurek was the director of the pediatric hospital on Streleska Street, and he reached out to our dean about setting up an exchange program for some of his pediatricians. And our dean, knowing my Polish connections, asked me if I wanted to travel to Krakow and investigate, which I did. 
To make a long story short, uh, during one of my visits, I was introduced to the chair of neurology here, and then I was invited to basically teach neurology. So I applied for a sabbatical and a Fulbright, and in 1992, I spent five months in Krakow teaching neurology in English in the Polish Medical School. It was the best professional experience in my life. In fact, I joined the Krakowski Chór Akademicki because I like to sing in choirs and I had a terrific experience. Two years later, Jagiellonian University set up the English language tract in the medical school and Professor uh, Andrzej Studli, who is the chair of neurology, invited me to teach the neurology clerkship. The first year there were six students, so I did it myself, but as the number of students increased, I came up with the plan of bringing residents and medical students from Rochester to help teach. We also started an exchange program where we bring over Polish students from both the Polish program and the English language program to Rochester for up to three months of clinical rotations. And essentially since 1995, when this program started, we have had hundreds of students and residents on both sides involved in a collaborative exchange. You also received a special award from Jagiellonian University, Marian Dibus Medal. How do you feel about it? Well, that was wonderful. I was made an honorary professor here several years ago, and two years ago I got the Marian Dibus Medal. It was one of the proudest moments in my life to be awarded such an honor from Jagiellonian University, which is the most prestigious university in Poland. And my grandparents and my parents would have been extremely proud to see me get the award. What would you advise our young residents, young medical students, for their medical career to be successful? Well, I think the key to success is three uh, characteristics. Focus, communication skills, and mentorship. Focus is the most important. If you don't know what you're looking for, you're never going to find it. And if you want to be successful, you have to know what you want to achieve. The next is communication skills. You have to be able to communicate verbally and in writing and convince people to support you to achieve what you want. And the third is mentorship, which means surrounding yourself by good people, people who will help you. And I think if you have those three things, focus, communication skills, and mentorship, you will be very successful.